Hey Reddit. What do you envy about the opposite sex? What would you have? For more videos like and subscribe. Peeing on the side of the road, in the forest without crouching and trying to avoid your pants, shoes. If it makes you feel better. 90% of the time the last bit of pee goes in our pants no matter what we do. And nettles. So far I've had 14 nettle peeing incidents happen to me. Not having to deal with the monthly bloodbath and all the good things that come with it. It's hard being a werewolf. I'd love to experience like a year of just, no pain. No cramping. No bloating. No. Well. You get the idea. I have cysts and endo. Too. So it's extra fun even before and after my period. It really just is never ending. I seriously envy her orgasm. Yep. Lasts about two seconds for me. Then I'm done. Yeah. But just remember how many times she's had sex with someone and not had one. Being able to play silly games with babies or young children without people automatically assuming you're up to something nefarious. I was in line at the grocery with my wife a few months ago when she was huge from pregnancy and I waved at a little boy ahead of us in the self-checkout line because he had been laughing and such. His mother turned around and said, don't touch him, despite the fact we were 15 feet away. What a dick. An eight years old boy ran over and tackled my head when I stopped to tie my shoes in the mall. I instinctively picked him up by the pits and make my best pirate roar while he laughed. Hysterically. Then my next thought was holy cow. I'm gonna get arrested. They can be nice to kids without instantly being seen as some sort of child predator. This right here is a real thing. I know someone who's a kindergarten teacher and she said it's almost impossible for a man to get into that field and when they do they're told to never hug a child under any circumstance. But nobody bats an eyelid when a female teacher does it. Sad TBH. They have functional pockets. I had a girl stay over and next morning went down to make tea. Came up with a mug in each hand and my phone started to ring. She stares at me in just my pee. J. Bottoms in total confusion. Where's your phone? Here. I say as I put down a mug and take out the phone. She was incensed. Even your pajamas come with real pockets. Yes. The fake. Non-existent or useless pockets of women's clothes are a nightmare. I started adding pockets to clothes I like. It's really easy. Even if you don't have a hand for sewing. 100% recommend. They get to wear little mini skirts. But the second my balls are dangling in the wind. People lose their shiz. Gotta tuck bro. That's why they call it scotch tape. Receiving compliments from both genders when post a picture. If I post a selfie on Facebook I'm gonna get 50 likes from the bros but zero comments. I made a post and the only comment it got was one of my friends saying, you. No other context. Nice cock bro. That they can pee standing up. Women will never know the satisfaction of pinging things off the inside of the toilet with incredible precision and a strong stream. My little sister tried when we were three. We were in the bathroom and she started trying to bend her hips forward to pee into the bowl and my aunt walked in. She absolutely lost it laughing then my mother did and couldn't contain herself either. I still give my sister hell about that. I lost 40 pounds and my boobs are gone. Your username makes this perplexing. I'm sorry for your loss bro but remember once a part of man boobies gang always a part of man boobies gang just the homies wouldn't want to touch your boobs but you can get over it stay strong. They'll never know the pain of going to sit on a bike seat on a particularly warm day and pinching your balls. As a kid you would be in a hurry to get to Billy's house and you would hop on the seat and smash your balls with the force of Gallagher's hammer. But have you ever had the sticky part of a maxi pad get stuck to your pubes? Last time I matched with someone on Tinder was in April. They unmatched me in an hour before I even saw the notification. But it happened. For that brief moment in time you made it. They can never take that away from you. That's way too relatable. And then when you point it out. All you get is women telling you how annoying it is and you're just like. Wouldn't be so easy to say if you were over here. 
I know both sexes can do this but getting a whole bunch of your friends and sit while people are getting the dead skin off your hands and feet. Cleaning and fixing your nails. My wife dragged me once and I really liked it. But none of my guy friends want to do it. I thought it'll be something cool than our usual sit at a bar drink beer thing. You could go with your wife again. Make it a thing with your wife. I used to go all the time with my ex and it was a cool, special thing we did together. Fashion. When I go shopping with my GF, I always see 10 things I'd wear as a girl to one thing I wear as a guy. I'm jealous of casual formal wear. A girl could wear a dress to any occasion you could imagine. But you can't with men's formal wear. I'd look like an absolute idiot if I showed up to the pool in a sun suit. Plus you can buy a gorgeous dress for like $5 if you catch a good deal. I think there is more variety to women's wear and I hate that the men's section in every store is at most half the size of the women's and usually more like one quarter. I've stopped caring about shoes and wear women's sneakers sometimes. That's funny. Because for me it's the other way around. Men's clothes are much more comfortable. Often made of better materials. And tbh I prefer what are considered male colors. I just wish clothes were less gendered. I wanna add to this. Skirts. I would love to wear a loose light skirt on a hot summer day to cool of my cock and balls without being the weird guy. I am aware of utilicilts. But I'd still be the strange fella wearing that. Or maybe I just need to stop being a coward. Who knows.